Alright, let's try that again. This is a uh, laptop hard drive caddy. And it goes into the CD player of laptop. I'll show you how to remove that uh, CD player, DVD player, whatever, and uh, install that drive caddy. All right. This is not going to be easy. Okay, so this is Toshiba. It's pretty new. I've got the unboxing on my on another video. Okay, so here is the DVD player. I flip the laptop over, and this has a little picture DVD. Anyway, I'm going to loosen this screw. Do not lose that screw. Put it somewhere safe. Okay. Okay, so I just took that out. Um, first, you're supposed to take the battery out. So I'm going to do that. Watch your eyes. <clears throat> and then I'm going to take this out. It's that easy. This is the uh, little tab that the screw goes into right there. Okay. Maybe remember how this looks when you take it out. It's got the uh, angled part is away from me, the way I have this set up. Okay. Open. I already cut that side. I haven't opened this yet. Oh. This is all. I haven't opened it yet. I bought three of these. I've got a laptop. My brother has one, and someone else might need one. Looks like it'll fit. About the same dimensions. Get this out of here. I hope it's sealed. Stand by. Okay, I have to clip that out. It's fun with one hand. Okay. What it looks like. Pretty neat. It's got some screws in here. And this should be your should be your uh, same connection, your SATA connection, for if you're using a uh, SATA drive. I'm going to be using a SD, solid state drive, SSD. 480 gigs, thanks salty. It's pretty. And this is what, this should look the same as your uh, CD player. Let's see if it does. That's the same as me. If you can see that. Same dimensions, looks like. Um, the only issue I've seen people have with these is that this uh, 
little bracket here. This bracket doesn't fit onto their caddy, but this one looks exact. And the other part is that once you get it in to the uh, laptop, the uh, cover on the old DVD player matches the where it fits into the laptop and it's smooth, whereas this caddy on the top here doesn't have a cover. And they said that this right here is glued to the DVD player, so I haven't looked at this one this close. I just pulled it out of the laptop for the first time. All right, so I'm going to go get my drive and uh, I'll be back. All right, so I'm back and uh, I'm going to take this tab that holds the old CD player off of the CD player and put it um, I'm going to take this tab off of this old CD player the tab is what the screw goes into that holds that CD player into the laptop and put it on the new hard drive caddy right there okay I'll be back okay I'm back I have switched the uh, bracket from the original CD player to the new caddy. All right, and I uh, can't emphasize how careful you want to be with these screws and not losing them. They're easy to drop, easy to fall and go anywhere and get lost. All right, okay, so remember the orientation that you pulled this old drive out and be sure and put this bracket on the new caddy the same direction that it was on the old CD player. Okay? With that in mind, here's the SSD. 480 gigs. I think uh, it's 300 something bucks. Uh, about, I'd say less than a year ago. Okay, so here's the uh, SSD. Been using as I said, I've been using this uh, like as a backup drive. Let's get it out of the box here. Excuse me. Put this over here. Watch out for that little screw. That's what holds the DVD player in. Fits. There she is. Doesn't even say four hundred and eighty on the front. It does on the back. Okay. Anyway. Um the connections. I don't know if you can see that. Those have to match up with that. So take it and put it in. And then you slide it forward. Plugs in. Can't get my finger in there. There, it's a nice snug fit. Right there. That's where it plugs in. Okay. Now, right here is a gap. Right there. Right there. See that between the drive and the case? What you have to do, you take 
I took this piece out of this spot earlier and all you do is you slide this in and it snaps in and holds the drive into the caddy okay so there's that now I'll take this computer put it back up here and if I remember right okay so there's that now this went in since the computer is upside down I took the, uh, the DVD player out upside down okay push it in and I can see the screw hole there just try to get that in there find your probably cut that out because I'm sure you're still just so excited about this video it is a really cool idea that somebody came up with though okay screwed in fine just like it was before here's what I'm talking about as far as the case uh, the uh, caddy here's the computer All right it's all smooth here smooth here and then there's a big empty spot okay and that's where the old DVD player had has a cover that matches the case so if you figure a way out to take this off and put it on here then it won't look weird I don't really care but uh, if I can get that off like with a simple screw or it just pops off or something some people have to glue like break, find a, <clears throat> or buy another uh, DVD drive, and uh, they snap that off and just glue it onto the the new uh, caddy. Right there. All right. So I will put the battery back in. This computer's on. Hey, wait a second. You know what? Ah, didn't like something. Start one as normally, okay? Here is a cover that was in the the plastic bag. All right. It doesn't like that uh, hardware, so I'm going to. Um, I'm going to reboot and hit F8, I believe it is. That's not it. Uh, control, delete, and hit delete. <coughs> That's not it. Control, alt, and hit F2. Yeah, F2 got me into BIOS. Okay. Um... I don't know if you're allowed to see any of this stuff. Let's let's go main. I don't see anything to mess with there. Like if I land, that's not it. Uh, SATA interface. config maybe no. Boot sequence. 
Where's my drives? Let's see. Shows a hard drive. I don't know if you can see that. Shows uh, hard drive is Toshiba. And the ODD, whatever that is, is my SanDisk that I just installed. I've got 8 gigs of RAM. Nothing I can do in there. I'm not saving any changes. Alright, I'll be all back. Right, so I went to BIOS and um, all I did was look at what drive it, the uh, what the drive looked like in the BIOS. And uh, exited, didn't save any changes, rebooted, and it uh, booted fine. And here's my SSD right here. 223 gigs. Actually, I've got it uh, partitioned into two separate drives here. Should be 480 gigs. So. There's the SSD one and a uh, new volume. 223, 218. So what is that? Two, that's 430, 440. And I've already got stuff on them, so I've got about 320 gigs left of free space on those, that one drive. Cool. Alright, that's how it works. Um, let's see what's in there. How good you're gonna be able to see this? It's pretty fast. Let's see, uh, movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's look at properties. NTFS. Now I've booted off this drive as well on a PC that's uh, four core and. Boot times like 20 30 seconds into Windows XP. I haven't tried it with this uh, Windows 7 to see how quick it would uh, boot, but it's like a minute on a regular hard drive. So you, you know, all kind of videos on SSD speed tests and uh, how fast it boots and how fast they. Uh, access different programs it's pretty cool videos all right and the, these uh that's it for that so i'm going to use that as like a backup drive and uh i only have a 500 gig drive on that uh, laptop i needed to boost some uh, s more space on there and i didn't want to break it open and mess with the warranty so i got uh, these for like five bucks online i think it's amazon good pretty good deal like I said I got extra ones for family five bucks it was uh, three bucks shipping per unit and then they wouldn't combine the shipping so it was nine bucks shipping and five bucks each so 15 plus nine this is the total cost and you got here less than a week now I've got extra drive space and if I ever need to use my old uh, DVD drive, then um, I can pop it back in and use it if I want. It works fine. Alright. So y'all have a good one, and um, I will too.